everyone, it's Shannon again with Scrapbooking Dreams. Uh, make sure to check out my blog at www.scrapbookingdreams.blogspot.com. I'm really excited. I just got home from the store. Um, I wanted to try coloring my own Skittles. That's what these are. They're just little clear um, gems right now. These are sold in the flower floral department of craft stores and they only sell clear right now. I do have some of the other colors but um, you know I heard that you could use these alcohol inks to color them and I'm gonna try to do that right now on camera. Hopefully I won't make a disaster because <laughs> that would be embarrassing if I made a big mess. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just cut this open and I have a Ziploc baggie here I'm going to pour some into the Ziploc baggie. I'm not going to do too many at once just because I don't know what I'm doing yet. And I don't want to waste them. I bought these. Uh, these are alcohol inks by Tim Holtz. And I got sunshine yellow. Let's see. I can't read all the colors. It's a yellow and orange and a purple. I was thinking for Halloween these would be fun. I did buy one other pack of colors, but my store was kind of limited on the color selection. So let's see. I have Purple Twilight, Sunset Orange, and Sunshine Yellow. We're going to go ahead, or sorry, that's Sunset Orange. We're going to go ahead and use Purple Twilight just because I just recently finished reading the Twilight books and I really enjoy this, so I just want to use something that says Twilight. <laughs> um, I don't really know for sure how much ink to put in here. I've never used these before. Never used anything like this. I think probably one to two drops should do it. And so let's see. There's one drop and two drops. All right, let me just put the lid back on there. I'm going to go ahead and close the Ziploc part and I guess you just shake them around. Oh yeah, that works. Wow, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> I can see why people like to do this. Okay, two drops was definitely enough ink. I'm thinking you could probably, probably get by with maybe even one drop or use more Skittles for that amount. I'm just making sure they get covered in that ink really well. I'm also thinking that you could reuse these bags to make more, as long as they don't get a hole in them. Okay, those look like they're covered pretty good. Now I'm going to pour them out woo, and let them dry. You don't want to do what I just did. <laughs> Poured them out a little crazy and I lost one on my carpet. Good thing I used a light color here. Okay, I don't know if the camera's really picking them up well, but that is a really, really pretty purple. Let's see. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can get a darker purple by maybe using a little more ink. Okay. Let's try maybe three or four drops this time. This might be a complete disaster. It might just make a big mess. Okay, I put four drops of ink in that time. And it looks like these little ink bottles will last pretty much forever. Okay, let's see if we can make those darker. I think it would also be fun to um, mix colors and get your own custom colors. Okay, it does work. You can make them darker. I don't know if you can see through the bag. There is a color difference. They are definitely darker. I just want to grab something real quick. Sorry for my squeaky drawers. Okay, I just 
wanted to try and see if you could add a little glitter. I'm going to use some Doodlebug Sugar Coating Glitter. And I think we'll use the clear glitter. I got these at Archivers. These are a lot of fun. Very addictive. Um, let me just open this bag up and put a little glitter. And see if that does anything. Okay. Seal that back up and let's shake these around with the glitter. I might have waited a little too long. They might be kind of dry. It also might help, I'm thinking, to use like a snack size baggie. I didn't have any right now. I only have this size. But that might make it a little bit easier because your ink won't spread as far. All right, let's dump these out and see what that looks like. Okay. I don't know if you can see that on camera. They definitely are darker than the first batch I did. And I'm just gonna kind of use my finger doesn't seem to be coming off of my finger. I'm going to kind of just use my finger to spread them out a little bit to make sure none are trying to dry on top of one another. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not. Let's see. Let me pick this up and kind of hold it a little closer. The glitter looks really, really cute on these. Like I said, the, the camera might not be picking it up but that looks really cute. So anyway, there's my fun little video on that. I would definitely recommend giving it a try. It's not very expensive to do and a lot of fun. Hope you have a great day. Bye.